Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell and to a another gift guide. This time it is the gift guide for men and I've roped in my partner Nick to help me as well. So he's got loads of ideas to share with you and he'll basically break it up by budget as well. So he's got those things that are less than £15, under 50 and then the more luxurious kind of one-off items. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up because Nick doesn't come on my channel very often, so I had to persuade him to do this. Um, yeah, hopefully it gives you ideas of what to buy the man in your life because I know for one, I find it really difficult um, knowing what to buy a man. And as with my other videos, I will also be given away £25 as well as one of the items that Nick has chosen in this video so if you want to win that then just comment down below and then I'll basically put all the comments um, and do a bit of a draw to see who wins that just to go a little to help towards the cost of Christmas and to say thank you so yeah hopefully you enjoy this Okay, so we're going to start the items with under £15 and one of the first things that I wanted to do, especially coming up to the winter, is uh, gloves. Uh, so these gloves were just from ASOS and I think in the sale they were about £5. Um, but what's really good about them is they um, you can use your phone with them, any finger. So I thought that was a pretty good deal considering uh, how annoying it is when you try and use gloves in the winter and you mm. can't use your phone. That is annoying. Second is uh, a moisturiser. I didn't know what moisturizers to use and Michelle told me to, well, she used, started using this um, dark spot uh, SPF 50 from Nivea and I used it and I just love it now. Um, not many men's um, moisturizers and they're really expensive if they do have SPF in them. Mm. Um, so I thought this one with 50 in is, is fantastic and that's like 13 pounds from Amazon. So brilliant. Yeah, you can normally get it half price, can't you? Yeah. It's normally, so I think it's meant to be like 30 pounds, but most of the time you can get it somewhere for around 15. Really good. Another item, um, and I've actually got a drink to go a bit later um, in the in the gift guide, but initially I just wanted to show you this um, Super Ice Sphere mould. Um, so I've never had one before and I thought it was a really cool gift and I've always wanted one. But you basically put water in the sphere, put it in the freezer and then it comes out as a, a perfect sphere into your drink. Um, so yeah, I'll try that over Christmas, but I thought it was a brilliant idea and I got that from TK Maxx for like £4, but I think you can get them on Amazon as well for a similar price, so yeah. I thought that was a great gift. Anything that we can, I will link down below as well, so if you just want to, and I'll number all of the items, so then you can just obviously go straight to that in the description down below. So next up is a game and um, any game at Christmas time is obviously fantastic but this one um, it was cost about £9 I think from TK Maps called The Mole and it's just a party game for um, despicable people so one of those funny kind of adult mm -hmm. games so yeah I think that would be really good fun but anything like that, um, Cards Against Humanity or mm. you know other little games like that, I think they're really good at Christmas time. It's a good little stocking filler isn't it to yeah. get someone a game. And then another gift, um, this probably finishes the £15 and under to be honest but this is a screen cleaning kit that we got from John Lewis. Um, and it's just, it contains you know the, the essentials for your screen cleaning so you get a little spray um, and you get a cleaning fluid and then you get a nice well two nice microfiber cloths in there as well so if you're on if anybody has a anybody if you have a phone or a computer uh, i think things like this are really handy actually um, it's kind of for something that for someone who's got everything it's yeah like something like that is ideal and i think it's, it looks really nice doesn't it it's a nice yeah. it's nicely packaged and to be fair you'll keep your, you'll keep it in there but once it's done you've got a nice tin there to put stuff in so so moving on then um keeping in theme with the kind of like 15 pounds around that price range um i have got a, well two pairs of slippers here um they're slightly different these ones were a bit cheaper these are about uh, 12 pounds actually from amazon uh, really from good. asos sorry um and they're really good they're really comfortable i quite like this design where you have a back on it because the other ones i'll show you haven't got a back on um, and I think these ones can be a little bit more comfy sometimes, but yeah, really good value. Um, and then the next ones are these. These are French Connection ones from, from ASOS as well. And they were, um, I think they were 20. They were a little bit more expensive, but these are really comfortable. The cushioning on them is amazing. So yeah, I, I really like these and um, I'll probably try and 
keep those actually mm, uh, they're meant to be for a gift <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I, yeah these are really nice um great gift i think and yeah 20 pounds so you can't really go wrong keeping with the nightwear theme i also picked up some pajamas from asos um these are chelsea peers oh they're nice and they're a, what would you call that a tartan or yeah a tartan. Um, check. like a red tartan yeah and they've got a nice piping detail across the pocket and down the middle as well um and they're actually really comfy really good material um and oh, they're quite soft aren't they yeah i really like them actually um so if your partner wears pajamas i think these are a really good purchase they were 30 pounds i think from asos but yeah i think that's a great purchase perfect christmas pjs yeah i think so arabella's got some like this as well so yeah. we'll match <laughs> yeah Cute. Um, and then another clothing item um that i'll show you just before i move on to perfume or aftershaves is a snood um and i just kind of i picked some winter wear just because i thought this was really versatile i play a lot of football and in the winter it can get really cold but also just walking around like if you don't want to wear a scarf i think these can be really handy scarves More... can be quite bulky can't they i suppose yeah and if you don't wrap them up they, they can just hang down and yeah. if you don't like that style it can be a bit annoying so if you do wear your coat done up um this can be quite a good idea um and also, yeah, like I said, football, sports, like watching your child play sports or even like walking the dog. This one's from the North Face and it was it was a bit more. It was about £25, but the material was really nice. What is um, it, like a fleecy? Yeah, fleecy, yeah, material. Like fleecy material. And it, uh, it's got a drawstring on it as well, so you, you can pull it, pull it tight. So yeah, another, I think, a good purchase for a present. So keep that in mind. Then on to the kind of outside-y sports theme um i've also picked up one of these so if your partner's a golf fan um this is a really good tool to have so it's a divot tool that you can have from callaway and um what it does is it repairs the pitch marks from when you hit the ball onto the green um so it's really handy from that point of view but it also doubles up because the callaway um disc on there comes off and actually is a ball marker as well so it's a two-in-one tool um, and i think it's just an essential for a golf fan so i think that's a really good present to buy and i think it was about 12 pounds from amazon so we'll link that because um, that's a good present as well and then lastly um this one is a little bit more expensive again it, well it's 20 pounds but it's a boot buddy uh, and it's a really versatile tool actually um so what it is it comes with a scraper at the top and um, a brush at the bottom and you fill it with water and it it can be used for football boots but actually um, golf boot, golf shoes as well or walking boots uh, wellies so that's a really versatile tool um, yeah it's about 20 pounds but really good and yeah I've, I've used a couple before um, but this one actually comes with a shoe cleaning um, solution and a microfiber cloth inside as well so I really recommend that and I think that's a great tool for anyone who likes sports, walking, golf, anything at all. Um, so yeah, highly recommend that present. So I'm going to move on now to um, aftershaves and the first one I wanted to show you was uh, Blue de Chanel. Um, this is amazing, I love it. It's quite a, co a common fragrance actually with men, um, but I'd never smelt it before. And I was at a New Year's it party, so good. Uh, and I um, I just smelled it on someone. I was like, "What? What is the aftershave you're wearing?" And they told me, and then mm -hmm. that, I just had to have it. Um, but I love it. It's it's so nice for uh, a going out fragrance, or I mean, you could wear it every day, but it does work out to be quite expensive. So I got the Eau de Parfum uh, spray, and I think I got it in a hundred mil, and a. I think that was about £95, so it is quite expensive. It's not too bad for 100 mil. But when you think of other aftershaves like Creed or, um, well, Panhelligans, which I'll show you in a minute, they can be up to like £200, so it is really good aftershave for that. In addition to that aftershave, I actually got one of these atomizers, which I wanted to show you, because I actually fill this with my Blue de Chanel. And this was about, I think there's like, they're, they're two for about, five pounds. Yeah, they're about three four pounds on amazon i think we got a couple i've got one and you've got one yeah they're, they're so handy they're incredible. when you go on a holiday they're i don't know what mil they are uh, probably they're about five mil five five or ten mil they're not a lot and you they? take the top off of your aftershave i don't know if, if you've never seen an atomizer before and you literally there's a little hole at the you bottom and you just literally pump it up like that mm. 
and uh, it fills up with the aftershave. You can take it on your hand in your hand luggage, take it in the car, leave it in your work bag, um, and you've always got like your favourite aftershave with you in a small amount. And yeah, two for five pounds. I think that is an incredible present. Yeah, to, it's a really to, nice it, little gift, isn't it? Yeah, on its own or with so an lovely. aftershave. So next is this. Um, Pan Heligan scent library that you, um, a gentleman's like fragrance collection if, uh, essentially. And um, I got this for Father's Day uh, from Arabella um, and I absolutely love it. Like if you're not sure about a fragrance for a man but they might have mentioned that they like a, a type or um, they, there might be one that you want them to try, I really recommend this. So I, I loved Halfetti, um, the one in the middle, um, and I, I smelt it and I just loved it. And that it can cost about 180 pounds so this Which is, is a, a lot of money if you don't know whether they're going to like it yeah but something like this i think this cost me around 40 pounds um and it's really nicely presented as well and it's a really good idea then for your man to be able to basically try all of the aftershaves and then if he does like it then obviously you can go on and buy it but yeah, yeah they, they do them for so many different brands don't they like the, yeah. all the expensive ones do them like joe malone i think if you just search like scent library but the pen halligans one i think it's really it's a really premium aftershave isn't it as well yeah uh it's just an amazing gift so yeah i can't recommend this enough um and i would definitely give that to a man and i feel like he'd love it yeah, so I think yeah most men would be happy good option so keeping in the theme of around £40, it's been a bit difficult because obviously I've tried to keep it together, so like the aftershaves together and a couple mm. of other bits. Um, I'll, I'll show you this wallet. So this wallet is about £35 from Trove. Um, and I've got a big bulky wallet, but it's quite kind of nice to have something that you can just fit your cards in. Just put it in your back pocket. Yeah. Like bulking. Because <laughs> oh, honestly, it's terrible when you get multiple cards or like money in it. It's just ridiculous. So this is just a small little... Um, card and money wallet that you can use um, and it's really simply designed um, so you can keep 10 cards in here believe it or not um, or uh, well and money as well so just to show you I've got well I've got two cards at the top there which are you know really easy to get out and then at the bottom you've just got this little pull and then you can just remove your card that way as well um, now what's also in here is uh, a note as well so there's a note at the bottom so if you see, it's actually really thin. Yeah, it is thin. So that can just fit anywhere, really. I feel like it's a, a fantastic um, idea for a present. And actually, this is the gift uh, we, we're going to give away in this video. So if you do comment down below any of the gifts that you've seen that you like or any of the ones that we'll show you later, um, let us know which one's your favourite and uh, you could be in a chance of winning the £25 voucher. Mm -hmm. And we'll give away this Trove wallet as well. So you can't really go wrong. So yeah, please comment down below at any gifts that you like. So the next gift uh, I'm actually gonna show you is a bottle of alcohol um, and specifically a, a bourbon. Um, when we were on holiday this year, uh, they had Jack Daniel's single barrel uh, available uh, on the all-inclusive, which is just it's, ridiculous. They never normally have, do um, they? And my friend and I loved it. So I thought what I'll do is I'll get us, I'll get a bottle that we can share when we're having a drink. So uh, I actually bought a bottle of Jack Daniel's single barrel. Um, and I got a really good deal on Amazon. I think it was like 35 pounds and normally that in the shop. Good. Yeah, I mean, it goes for like 45. Um, and sometimes you can get them in a really nice box as well. But this whiskey is amazing. And um, for any whiskey drinkers or lovers out there, I feel like this is a fantastic present to get. Um, you probably can pick it up for around £40 and it goes hand in hand with the um, ice sphere that I mm. showed you earlier. So as a double gift option... You, you could even maybe get some like whiskey glasses or something as well. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, um, really, really nice, really nice and lovely bottle as well. So yeah, just a nice option. So we'll move on to a little bit more expensive now. We've looked at like the under 15s and kind of like the under 50s, but I'm gonna move up a little bit into a bit of a more expensive price range. Something that we've had recently, which has been a fantastic purchase for us, was a backpack and it's mm. just broken. I used it all the time. Yeah, so um, I thought I'll get a backpack for Christmas this year. And one of the backpacks that I decided to choose was uh, a Reigns backpack. Um, so what's really cool about Reigns is they have um, really sleek, minimal designs, but also they're completely waterproof. That's good. Um, so this one, um, it's got loads of space inside and you've got extra compartments in there as well. But yeah, I think the design of it folding over the top and just being completely waterproof is what sold me to it. It does I, look very sleek. Yeah, I absolutely love it. So 
Um, this one was £75, so it's a little bit more expensive, but if you actually look at backpacks now, they are really expensive. Mm. Um, and to get a leather one, you're looking at like £250, which is yeah. just outrageous. So perfect gift for me was this backpack. Moving on to uh, footwear. So something that I feel is really popular and men love trainers. Um, so I love a brand called Arn or Arn Clo. Um, and I got these trainers last Christmas actually. Um, so I thought I'd show them in this gift guide, but they are, they go for about a hundred pounds, but you can get them in Black Friday sales or sales. They go down to about 65. Oh, that's good. So it's pretty good, but they're made in Portugal, which a lot of the good trainers are actually. Um, and they, these ones are um, suede leather on top. Um, and they've kept really well. They've got a chunky sole, so they might not be for everyone's style, but I actually love them and I wear them quite a lot and they've kept really good condition. Um, so yeah, I, I really recommend having a look on Arnclo and some of their trainers. They've got, some, got loads of options and I think they'll be something that your partner would really like on there. So what I've discovered is as I get older, I seem to like different kinds of gifts now. And one of the gifts that I'd really like is a, a rain jacket for some reason. But I feel like it's something that you don't think you need until actually you think about it. It's Practical like, yeah, gifts. Yeah, I do actually need that. <laughs> uh, same kind of scenario as walking the dog or sports or things like that. So one of the uh, jackets that I chose was this uh, jacket, again, from Reigns, actually, um, because I just feel like Reigns has got this really sleek, minimal design. Um, it is quite expensive, but I actually love this. So it's actually like a long line jacket, which goes down to kind of like your thighs. Um, it is a bit more expensive. It was 95, but I did get it in a, uh, I did get it from ASOS and it was 20% off, which I thought mm. was it's a, you again, can often get deals on ASOS for yeah. 20% off. It was quite expensive, but I'll show you it on. Um, but I actually really like this jacket. And they come uh, as unisex as well. So mm. you can both wear it. So yeah. Might be borrowing that <laughs> It's a really nice option to have. Oh, they feel very... I don't know. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> it's not your normal rain jacket that you think of like plastic bag. No. It's actually really nice. Um, no, I didn't expect nice it to and feel soft, like that. Yeah. So, and it comes with a hood as well, which is and great. And is that completely so. waterproof? Because I know some of them say they're, you know, shower proof, but is that completely? Yeah, completely oh, wow. waterproof, yeah. So yeah, honestly, Reigns, check them out. Amazing brand, and we're not, at, we're not advertised by them. <laughs> so last year I showed uh, a zip jumper, and uh, again, no different this year. I, I love zip jumpers, like quarter zip jumpers. Um, this one I they got They seem to be very from, popular with men, don't they, zip yeah, jumpers? Yeah, they're just incredible. This is a Paul Smith jumper. So again, it's a little bit more expensive. You're probably looking at around £130, but you can get them for around 90 So it's a lovely present if you want to just spend a little bit more money on, on your partner. Um, I love Paul Smith, love the logo. I love the design in the collar. Um, and so, yeah, it's really lovely cotton. Um, and something that I do wear quite often, so I really recommend this. Um, Ted Baker do some nice ones, don't yeah. they? I, mean, I know you've got one from there. Yeah, Ted Baker, Gantt, uh, Lacoste, any of those kind of premium brands, they do some lovely jumpers. Uh, and right now, I know that, well, I don't know about Paul Smith, but Ted Baker, for example, have 30% off for their oh. Black Friday sales, so it's worth checking out at the minute yeah. uh, to get jumpers like this. And then the last piece of clothing that I've got to show you is a gilet. Um, I didn't have a gilet, I wanted one desperately. Michelle bought me one last year for Christmas. I absolutely love this. You wear it all the time, All actually. the time, yeah, because... It's a good buy. <laughs> the weather in England's really weird. Like, it will go from being, like, really warm to, like, mild, and then it, like, really cold. But that mild period lasts for ages, and wearing a coat can be too hot. Yeah. These are fantastic. So I actually pair this up with the Paul Smith jumper. Um, but this is from Gantt, and what I love about this is it has the like padded gilet design at the front but then you've got the um like material like jumper hybrid kind of material, yeah isn't it they're called like hybrid gilets i think but i love mm. it i think it's amazing um again a little bit more expensive I, I don't know how much it was i think they're about 180 pounds i'm not sure it might be a bit less than that i don't think it was that much <laughs> <laughs> but yeah have a look because these on offer yeah i uh, it's not too thick either i think it's, no, it's not too padded it no. looks quite like you can even wear it with a shirt underneath and you still yeah. look quite smart in it but then yeah. it's just it's a little bit of warmth i think especially if you go shopping or you know if you drag your partner around the shops with you <laughs> they're always really hot in a coat because the shops are hot whereas something like that it's 
you're yeah. not too hot in it then, are you? Yeah, absolutely. Dress it up, dress it down. Yeah. Minimal it, logo on the back. It and looks really smart, doesn't um, it? So yeah, I think it's amazing. Um, so yeah, really, really recommend a, a gilet for your partner. Yeah, gilets are good. And the last two items uh, that I will show you are watches. Um, so I love a watch. I never used to wear a watch. It must be that thing about growing up. Oh, I can't mm -hmm. take my watch off. I have a nice watch for smart going out wear. And then I also wear my smart watch every single day. Um, but I wanted to show you the smart watches initially. So I have a Samsung smart watch, the Galaxy Active, which um, because I have a Samsung phone, I think they're relatively reasonably priced. I think they're about 180 pounds you can get them for. But I also wanted to show you the Apple Watch as well. So I bought Michelle the Apple Watch for her birthday this year. And um, these are amazing as well. So this one was, I can't remember, I think it was about £250. But I think everybody should have a smartwatch. I don't think you know you need it again till you've got it. And I feel naked without it. Like if my phone goes off and I haven't got my watch on, you'll look at your wrist and you'll want to see who's messaged you. It is a bit of a bad habit to get into, but actually it's really good. And it also um, it, it tracks all of your activity. So if you're running or walking, it tracks your steps, your heart rate, uh, your calories mm. in, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Sleep, like everything Sleep, on there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can, I think they're getting better now where you can actually see like Instagram photos and stuff mm. like that. So yeah, really recommend a smartwatch um, as a present. And then as a proper like going out watch, um, I got a Tissot watch for my birthday this year um, and I absolutely love these. So um, <laughs> Rolexes and Tag Heuer, things like that, they're so expensive. They're, they're obviously amazing watches, but if you want like a Swiss made designed watch that doesn't set that doesn't set you back too much, then Tissot is an amazing mm, brand. brand. This one was about 350 to 400 pounds, but um, yeah, I can't recommend them enough. It's so comfortable. Uh, it feels really good quality, and so it's it, quite big, isn't it? It's got yeah. quite a big face on it. It looks, it does yeah. look quite premium. Yeah, I love it. it. And I think they're called Chronograph. I'm not really sure, but it's got the design where you get, you know, the, the multiple like dials on the, on the front. So, um, yeah, that's my last um, thing to show you. But a watch of any kind is an amazing present for a man. I think they would absolutely love it. So. That concludes the, the gift guide for the men. Thank you. So yeah, hopefully you found that useful. Thanks Nick for putting it together. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have enjoyed this then please give it a like. Give Nick some love because like I said he doesn't come on um he doesn't come on my channel very often. It's a bit out of his comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually just walking on a vlog and not talking. <laughs> so yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.